Hey guys, today we'll be uncovering the secrets of two chests in Crota's End, chests similar to the Vault of Glass that gave raid materials. So the first chest is going to be right as you drop into the Abyss. Face the first lamp and then head off to the left side. There are going to be five different doorways along the left wall. The chest will spawn at random in one of these doorways. If you wipe, supposedly the chest will move to a new location, but this should be the first thing that you grab anyway. The indicator of which doorway contains the chest should be a light glowing above the doorway. You'll be under weight of darkness at 10 stacks, so be sure to stick together. This is also the chest that can give you the raid class item and potentially an exotic. I picked up a new Patience in Time earlier in the week, which was the 302 version, so the already upgraded version. Personally, I think they need to switch this chest with the next one that we'll be looking at, which is significantly harder to get than this one, so let's take a look at it. Chest number two is after you've crossed the bridge before the gauntlet where you drop down into Crota's final area. The goal here is to get to the open door before it closes, which is on the other side of the giant hole that you drop down into to continue the raid. The door will start to close as you kill the second Shrieker and the barrier goes down. Note that we've had people die during the gauntlet both before and after the first Shrieker has died, but the door remained open. I am unsure if you can have anyone die after the second Shrieker goes down, but you should really avoid it. Here's the plan. Kill the first Shrieker and let the death blasts subside. Have everyone killing enemies as you move up. You're going to have one designated runner, one designated Shrieker killer, and everyone else helping out. Get the second Shrieker to low health. Have your runner start moving up to the barrier that blocks the path and have the runner call when to kill the Shrieker, which needs to die as soon as the runner calls for it. The Shrieker should die and the runner should start running through the barrier as it comes down, so the timing needs to be spot on. The rest of the party should use supers to help clear all the enemies inevitably chasing the runner, and the runner should make it to the open door. Now it's very likely that the door will close, leaving everyone locked out. This is when the person inside the room uses their ghost to open the door. There's no prompt to use your ghost, you just stand very close to the door and then take out your ghost as if you were summoning your vehicle and the door will open. Note that if the door closes and you go past the threshold to where the next mission starts, you will not be able to try again. If the door closes before you cross the threshold to the new mission and want to try again, everyone else should stop moving and die immediately. Those are all of your chests that we know of so far for Crota's End. I have no idea if there are any more, but if there are, I will update all of you as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching, and have fun in the raid.